it is happening. Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today we are checking out Newburgh, Oregon's finest thing. I, in my opinion, the best thing to do in Oregon, the 99 West Drive-In. <laughs> Woo, yeah! America, one of the last drive-ins in the U.S. I think there's like under like 10 or 20 and we have one of them in Oregon. People are yelling at me because there's a busy highway right here. If you're coming to Newburgh, check out this drive-in. It has been here since 1953. It is a fan favorite because I'm the biggest fan of the drive-in. Everyone in Oregon knows about this place and I wanted to show you guys if you live out of state or in state, give you a heads up what's it like coming here in the age of the pandemic as I'm filming this. It is, what's today? April 10th, 2021. They are showing Godzilla vs. Kong, Warner Brothers, brand new movie. It's on HBO Max and we already saw it, but we're gonna see it again. But the heavy hitter, the reason why we're here is because the Shinin. The Shinin is playing, the Shining. You've got the Shinin. You mean Shining. Shh, you wanna get sued? Stephen King's famous book turned into the legendary film adaptation by Stanley Kubrick, one of the greatest directors of all time, starring Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall. Oh. We, we have the Shining Hotel here in Timberline Lodge. I need to make a video of that, actually. And, uh, and I'm shaking. Like, I, I love this movie. It's weird because I'm a Christian kid. And, like, why would, a, why would a Christian love The Shining? It's pretty violent. I don't know why. Let's do this thing. Micah, man. Micah, this is for you, dude. My only friend that likes The Shining. I wish you were here. It's for you. So if you're coming to the drive-in, remember they're only usually operating Thursday through Friday. Sometimes it's Thursday through Sunday. Today, though, I believe it's only Friday through Saturday. That's at least online. They have a COVID 200 car limit. I'll show you guys what that means with the spacing. Remember to bring a mask. The gates don't open until 6 p.m. Right now it's 5. And the gates are right around this corner. And as you can see, we're one of the only people here. So... No, not too bad. Usually it's really crowded. I don't know if it's just because it's not summer yet or what. But uh, just a word of the wise, come like an hour or two before the gate opens to get a good spot. This guy's just going to sit here. Alright, looks like you can use uh, either side right here of the entrance. The turns, the, the turnstiles for your cars. Let's look at the prices real quick. Single person in vehicle, $14. General, so if you have multiple people, multiple people in a vehicle, 9 bucks, ages 6 to 11. Five dollars per person, and then ages five and under is free. So you do pay per person in the vehicle. But if you do it old school and hide someone in the trunk, psh, you get them in for free, man. All right, let's do this thing. You can walk. Yeah. Ah, here we are. This is the drive-in. It's a bit empty because uh, we got here real early, but uh, this is where we go. I see we go like right over here to like the left of the. And we are in. We have made it. Behind me is the projection building. They have a brand new Sony digital projector. They actually won. It is crisp. Behind me, what it sounds like was Jurassic Park. They play a variety of fun theme park music. I'll show you guys that. But they play the old school. And I'm talking like Country Bear Jamboree, Vacation Hoedown, Disney theme park audio, which is fantastic. I wanted to show you guys though the parking situation here. If you come to the drive-in, usually what it used to be that there was radios connected here. You pop them out, you put them on their window for your car. That was way back then. Now you just park between these posts and usually it's two vehicles for each section. Now with COVID, it's only one car per section. So you actually get more space, which is really nice. And then you kind of back up like these folks are doing and you tilt your car back you can pop open your back and then watch. They will if you have a tall back door. They'll, they'll tie it down for you so you don't bother anyone else's view. And, uh, and then you're good. It's really nice. I think they used to have swings up by the front under the, uh, under the screen, but I think those are gone now. I want to show you guys over here in case you don't make it in time to get a regular spot out here, which they do fill up quite fast. So I always suggest getting here. Gates open at 6, get here at least by 5 p.m. 
Not to worry though, because they have this overflow parking over here, which is not the end of the world. And the cool thing is, is that if you stay for the second showing, the majority of folks actually leave. So you can pull your car out if you're parked back here for the first movie, and then park out here for the second one. The first feature film that's being featured is family rated, so either PG, G, sometimes PG-13, depending on the content. And then the second showing is rated R. They've played like Deadpool here once. One time it was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was fun. Let me tell you something. That was a great movie. All right, let's go check out the snack bar. Right now they're playing Space Age Love Song by Flock Seagulls, but now I'm gonna get copyrighted. Oh crap. Oh, he can smell the popcorn. You can smell the popcorn coming out of the snack bar. Here's the menu. Look at this. Give you guys a heads up. Right there is the entrance into the drive-in. Right, so you have to wait right here before entering in due to COVID, but here's a sneak peek inside. And right over there is two theater rooms that are closed for some time, but this is the snack bar. Yes, I have picked up a sweet t-shirt for $20 and I got a free bumper sticker, which I'll show you guys. But only 20 bucks, not too bad, comes in a little Ziploc. All right, I got my t-shirt, I wanted to show you guys. So on the front, it glows in the dark. It's 99W Drive-In Theater, Newburgh, Oregon. Sweet design, by the way, very 1950s. On the back, look at that. Driving 99W Newburgh. Live modern. Enjoy a modern movie. I like it. And yeah, it has the material where it's going to glow in the dark. They only had larges, but uh, they had long sleeve shirts in this design. They had a short red sleeve shirt. Cool stuff. $20. And it came with a free bumper sticker. Very cool. I love this thing. Slap it on there on a Ford Bronco from the 70s or something like that. All time dream. That one. Oh, I can't climb this thing, but I wanted to climb and like right in the middle and like do a backflip when it was going. And sometimes people do like laser pointers, which I want to smack them when people do that. But it's kind of funny every now and then. But um, what is this? Just tin? Is that what the screen is? It looks pretty tinny. Okay, so when you guys park, you gotta pull out your speaker. I suggest bringing in an external one that can connect to AM and FM radio, so you don't kill your car battery. But tune in to 96.5 and then turn it up and then get copyrighted yeah but this is this is the radio to hear the actual movie and then the pre-movie music and in about 45 minutes after the gates have opened they're still letting folks in this could vary of course which movies are playing and what weekend it is depending on traffic but uh still a lot of spots available well not not in this view over there though still a good amount of spots available Oh, that's loud. I think it's E.T. Sounds really like John Williams. Now I'm gonna get copyrighted. Flip and flip. And here's the sunset we're working with tonight. It's uh, pretty darn good. It's a nice, like, kiss, you know? A kiss goodnight, but also a wink of summer. A little sneak peek, dare I say, of summer nights coming along. Dude, did they play Grease here? Oh my gosh, we're coming back. Zilla versus Kong, a stock raising 
groundbreaking monstrous hit from the people that don't have a word for monster Dai Kaiju fantastic creatures King of the Monsters and uh, the Eighth Wonder of the World. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and King Kong, the Eighth Wonder of the World. Is our first feature rated PG-13, followed by The Shining, which is getting off the bucket list tonight, or this weekend. One of the most requested movies from uh, with, with Oregon Connections from 1980. Stanley Kubrick's uh, directly taken from the negative, so it's a real, you know, cinematography on it is really good on the driving screen, and so is the music. An arty movie, our second feature, rated R or red rum whatever we don't have any birthdays to honk for uh, just honk as we do at the end of the national anthem when we start the show next week we're probably going to hold on to godzilla the third week the studio insists but what do we do we're going to run something like mad max fury road afterwards something new with action like the joker or are we going to run something fun in front like scoob or willy wonka and the chocolate factory don't forget to visit our refreshment center during the intermission or any time. This is pretty cool. You love the tasty array of snacks we have to offer. So will the youngsters. Everything is quality and mm -hmm. so good. We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. There are always wonderful new pictures to see. Delightful snacks to nibble. A gay, pleasant evening for all. Oh, a word of caution. Don't drive over 10 miles an hour in the theater area for your safety's sake. And mom or pop, go with the kids when they leave the car. We hope you have a wonderful time. Come back soon. We have some more money. Starting, I will check in after Kong is done. All right, we just finished Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, that's okay. Second time watching it, and I didn't notice anything new. Um, we'll leave it up to you guys. So that's my personal opinion. But The Shining is next. Apparently, it is at the scan of the original negative 35 millimeter. So apparently, he said the cinematography is fantastic, and it's the original music. So I have no idea, I guess it's like the, the original viewing, I wish it had a deleted scene, like the infamous deleted scene of, of uh, Shelly in the hospital at the end, I wouldn't, but oh, that would be crazy. So we're in for a treat. It was weird, okay, so usually they have twine they give to people, like you could tie a tree over your roof on your car with a Christmas tree, you, they give it to people that have their back doors open and like kind of tie it down a bit. And there is so short staff as we were just telling them about it that they gave us the box of twine and then we passed it around to everybody. But it's only the projection operator, he's also the owner, and then one of his workers who's just running the snack shack by herself, which really sucks. But it's only them two, so we were honorary uh, driving employees for the night. Something else, it's 10.30, so the first movie started around 8.30, 8 20-ish. And uh, now The Shining, it's probably around like 10, 35, 10, 40 probably. Directed and from Stephen King's 1977 novel, The Shining, a movie a lot of you might know anyway, is coming on next after a 10 minute intermission. If you're not gonna stay for the second feature, we have exits open on both sides. So if your ticket booth or you came in and bought a ticket is one way out, Another way out, if you're facing the screen, is on your left over there as your gate open on the Springbrook Road. We leave the congestion. 
to refresh. For your convenience, we have an attractive refreshment stand with a parade of items to tempt your taste. Hot buttered popcorn, golden good and fresh from the popper, your favorite candies, wholesome and rich and full of flavor, ice cream and other good things to eat. We finished it, man. We watched The Shining 4K cleanup of the negative 35 millimeter, the original 35 millimeter, and it is one in the morning. Have a good night! We've enjoyed having you here. Till next time, please drive carefully. And good night now.